Hello and welcome to Moose Miners. This game is developed by Lincoln Studios and is scheduled for release in the second quarter sometime, 2024. In this game, we will take control of a mining operation run by Moose. They mine and sell the gems. You need to decide where to spend the profits. Hire more miners and upgrade their gear. Buy new rails and minecarts to get deeper into the mine. The deeper you get, the more valuable gems you will find. I also want to thank Lingan Studios for reaching out to me a couple of months ago, asking me to take a look at the game. I did take a look at it then, and I intended to play it, and then never really found uh, a good time to, to, to work it in. And then I saw it come up in the Next Fest uh, listing, and I was like, I should, I should do it. So uh, this is um, a little bit out of the ordinary for my channel. Uh, I tried to take a look and find at least one game that's a little bit outside of what I normally play when I do an X-Fest exploration. And so this is that, uh, I think, although I did have maybe one other one too that might have been as well. But uh, the game just interested me. Uh, it's kind of one of those sort of idle miner type games, but um, it's got some interesting aspects to it. So I think it'll be kind of fun to do here as my last uh, my last entry into Steam Next Fest. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. So we start out with very basics here. Uh, we have a, uh, a single moose miner here. There's a little saw on the end of a cart and uh, the cart can carry one and only one little rock. And there are uh, several inside of each of these gems that are on the ground. So as you can see at the very beginning, you don't get much, um, you don't get much, much going on at first. Uh, the, the the gems are coming down. They're getting crushed here at the end of the uh, the end of this uh, gangway or whatever, and then they get turned into uh, powder, and the powder goes onto the rails here. And once the train is full, or you decide to send it uh, automatically or uh, ahead of time, then you'll get some amount of uh, money for it. And so we're going to send it early, just because well we could use a little bit more money going on. So one thing we so we can do a lot of different things to upgrade our our uh, our operation here we can increase the speed of the miner at this point i don't feel like we need to we can upgrade the miner's capacity from one to two uh, pieces i think we'll do that one first and so then you'll see by the way that the miner will then be able to haul two pieces in its little cart we can increase the saw speed from 60 rpms to 66 and two-thirds rpms which means that they will mine those chunks a little bit faster the saw damage is available as well once we have a little bit more money it costs 100 and then you can also add another miner and one of the interesting things is when you add that other miner the the cost increases here are are rolled back because well we haven't paid for the cost increase for that second miner yet so you kind of um the the button goes back to how much you owe for your poorest uh affected uh unit uh in whatever category it is so we, and we do it again we can jump back down to two again we can jump back up there uh and then you can see that the capacity or the cost now is 12 that's because it's four for each times three of them so uh that's kind of where we're at uh we have a bit of money coming in uh we can go ahead and send the storage if we want and you can see by the way that the uh the the gems are backing up here and even the, they'll back up here and they'll also back up here on the dock uh or the the loading platform here and that's uh where they where they where they back up if you don't have any um any train cars here um if you if you haven't clicked on anything uh you have minor upgrades here you also have grinder upgrades here as well and that's these here so we may want to um add grinders we could do that and then we'll add um an, another line here although maybe i should have added oh that should be fine uh that'll add another grinder here which will allow the the miners to to deliver the items to either one and I think I should also increase the speed because you can see that the three miners that I have are overwhelming the grinders that we have available here um, but I think we should also add a couple more grinders to the right side here just so that we can load all four uh, all four lines directly into carts and then if you also click on the carts eventually you'll get upgrades available for them as well uh, there are upgrades here uh, we can only get rails. There are other upgrades here that will be available to us once we have the full game. And these will load balance, by the way. So if there's an issue with, um, you know, the cart's not full enough yet, then they will, uh, these will fill up and they'll load balance a little bit. 
correct. So the carts, you don't have to worry about the carts not not getting full enough or being too full. Uh, so, or not yet. One being full and one not being full. They will low balance eventually. Let's do these upgrades here. Or this upgrade here to the first one. That way they can carry the uh, carry the two. Um, wait, didn't that one have three? Looked like that one had three. No, just two. Okay, I was just uh, blurry in my brain or something. Um, but they will just keep working for as long as you can afford to keep them working. I think we should increase the capacity to three, though, because that would be better. And then we could either increase this, the movement speed or their saw speed. Um, I think it might be better to do the saw speed first, because they're still a little close to the end of the platforms here. Um, and actually, these are more like um, uh, sloped things, so they will they kind of pop the the gems up, and then they. Uh, and then they roll downhill into the into the grinders. Uh, we should increase the speed of the grinders, and I thought you could select all of the grinders at one point. Maybe you have to do, I think you just have to do this and then this. Two grinder speeds from 24 to 30, yep. And then we're at 40, or four grinders, which is how many we have, from 30 to 40. Let's do that one as well, and we'll just kind of make a little bit more money that way. And they will eventually load balance properly here. They're just not doing, it. yeah, you had four. I'm almost positive I just saw you had four. I don't know why that was. But they definitely only have three now. Hmm. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. So, uh, what is this here? Oh, it tells you the gem values, too. So these these pink gems here are only worth uh, $2 uh, times 10 charges. And then they kind of get more and more uh, valuable as you go. But they also get harder and harder. They have one health... One health times 10. Uh, so it's one health to, to get one, to get $2. Uh, here it's one health to get $2 still, but it takes a little bit more time to dig through those. So as we work our way back here, we're going to have to probably increase some of the other things as well. Uh, let's see. Why don't we do their speed as well? Um, a little bit. We could add more miners. I think I'm okay with that? I don't know. I, I didn't really look at why the, the math here is like 66.67 and then 74.07. Um, there might be something to that. I'm not sure. Uh, and by the way, this table up here also shows, depending on which thing you're clicked on, what the uh, minimum average and maximum is for each of these statistics for those items. So you can also make sure that you're Everybody's up to the same spec from this as well. So if we added another miner, or maybe two of them, now you can see that there's a minimum still of three because we haven't upgraded their speed yet for those two. Uh, and 3.3 uh, is the maximum. So if we do this two, then that gets them up to 3.3. And you've increased their capacity, and you can see those going up as well. Maybe we should just go all the way up to four. I think we should just go all the way up to four. Uh, the saw speed, we might want to increase that as well now, or up that up to get them all the same, so that the min, and, the min and the max and the average are all the same number. And then maybe we want to maybe buy some more grinders? No, I think we're okay on the grinders now. Um, we might want to increase their speed, maybe, maybe not, I think we need more miners, honestly. Because the further they get away, the, the more speed and or the more uh, miners we're going to want to have. Here's the gem value thing again. I don't know why it was a question mark here and now it's a button over here. I don't know. Uh, what does this do? This is new, I think. That centers. I'm not sure what that's doing, actually. I mean, I get what the home button does, but what do these do? I don't know. Uh, we can create a control group with our miners, too. So if you want to select them all like this, and you can group them together so that you can have them here. And then you can move camera to the control group flag. You can place the control group flag, which must give them like a hey, work from work, work these columns. Yeah, work these columns. So if you don't want them to expand out too far, if you want them to do instead a uh, more of a linear fashion, uh, you can do that as well. So maybe out to there, out to here. That's what like two and two. Yeah, it's about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten going into four. So that might be a, a, an okay number, or maybe we'll expand it more later, or maybe we'll just remove that control group at some point and let them go out in a circle. 
Uh, we can see how we want to handle that. I think actually I will. I'll let them work in a work in a semicircle for right now. You can also pick up the miners, but I don't really know why you'd want to necessarily do that. Let's do a little bit more here, maybe, and let's do a little bit more on the grinding speed. You can also increase the upgrades to 10x, and then you can maximize them. Um, I think Max will will upgrade all of the not max uh, the not maxed out ones to max, and then it will upgrade one level from there. I think, uh, which is really useful later on in the game as you've progressed a bit further. I don't know what the timer. I guess that's how much time you spent. I guess that's probably right. Uh, and then of course the menu here as well. Uh, it's also giving us a, an estimation of how much money we're making on average per second. Which is kind of nice. Um, it it's a little bit um, of a of a pulse type of graph because when the when the cards deliver, then the, it jumps up and then it falls back down again. So it's it's eventually it might be an average over time, but it's a bit uh, pulsy. At least until you get that but that far. Uh, see, so we have six. I think I'll do like two more miners. And then we'll increase their speed, we'll increase their capacity. So let's try that max button here. Uh, no, actually. Maybe it increases... I'm not sure what it does then. Uh, let's, let's increase these to make them all match, though. There. There. That way I have, like, eight miners to, to four shoots. Uh, that might be enough. And you can see how they are um, backing up and then handling the the grinding there. Increase that. You can see it stacking up here. Um, it, those piles were actually getting taller the longer that it was out. And we still don't have upgrades yet for the for the for the carts. We'll get them at some point. I just don't exactly remember how. Uh, but it does tell us what the storage is for the cart because I clicked on it. Um, the expected sell value of the stock is what the speed of the carts are, uh, the load speed, which is 20 items per second, and then the number of carts we have, of course. Should probably upgrade them again. We could also add another capacity to them. That might be useful, because then they don't have to come back and forth as often. It might be useful to do a couple of times anyway. Actually, let's just go ahead and do it four times. Get them up to eight. That'll be a lot more useful. Um, they're a little more bursty then, but that's okay, because the time they spend driving is time they can't spend mining and making money. So uh, if we can balance that out, that's even better. And if one of these shoots gets full, which is kind of what I'm trying to do by increasing their capacity and seeing if they'll deliver it all to one column, is it, they'll just start delivering it to the next shoot over. It's no big deal. And yeah, we'll have to get to 5,000 unlock rails. So we should probably work towards that because the rails are actually kind of cool. Uh, I did do that when I did my trial a couple of months ago. There's the uh, stuff piling up. And then it almost immediately loads into the carts because the carts, uh, that loading speed of 20 per second is, is crazy fast for the carts. Um, maybe we should add two more grinders. Uh, I don't want to add any more grinders because we're at four shoots to go into two carts and that feels like a nice amount. So I don't want to add any more shoots, any more grinders, but maybe add a couple more miners. Uh, let's add four of them. Can you do, like, shift place? No. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's do four of them to their, their capacity as well. And their saw speed as well, at least until we run out of money. There. And we'll need to do their saw damage as well. No, we don't, because we haven't made enough money to do saw damage once yet. Because I keep adding these. So now we're at, what, 12 to 4? So we might actually fill up one of these, especially the outside shoots, because they seem to come in the outside of it. Oh, there's a random yellow one here. 
That one has a thousand per charge, but 150 health per charge. So they'll, once they hit that one, they'll actually sit there and work on it for a little while. And I think, based on what I could tell, I think only one miner uh, can work on any specific node at any one time. So you'll never see two of them working on the same node, which is kind of an interesting thing, but it makes somewhat logical sense in that they seem to attack them from below, so you can't really have them stacked on top of each other doing the same job. And now we're making the money. Yeah, see how fast that loaded? <laughs> Pretty soon we're going to need more uh, carts, because more, more train wagons, because we are going to uh, have so much that they won't even stay here for any, for any amount of time. Let's see. Uh, they come in, they pull in, they immediately load up over 25% of their capacity. Immediately. That's, um, that's impressive. And now you can see this one here is working on that yellow one. It's going to take it a while to cut through because, remember, it's 150 health per charge, whereas these are only a, a 1 health per charge. So it's going to take it a long time, but it would be worth it because it's worth 500 times as much per charge. So... It's worth it. It just may not feel like it early on. And I think they take the same amount of time to grind no matter what what the item is. Uh, that's that's just the um, that's just the mining speed, not the grinding speed. We should do let's do a saw damage then, since you're working on that. That'll double our saw damage, which means they will mine in half the time, uh, which is also very useful. Of course, I spent all my money. Because of course it did. We can back way out and then we don't hear the noise. But you can see the little yellow ones every so often here. There's a there's a teal one here that's worth 20,000 per charge. Uh, that must be way up here somewhere. Uh, let's see, the yellow ones were 1,000 per charge? Yeah, so they are way, way, way up here someplace, right there. No, we haven't. They're even outside of the demo. The demo ends right there. I don't know if you got that message or not there. <laughs> and it ends right there. So uh, you can see how big this map is, by the way, and how much it, um, or how how much is already in the demo, how much you can gather in the demo, and then uh, what is possibly infinite or at least very um, extensive uh, beyond that. Uh, that must be what this button's for. Yeah, I bet you this is to, to hit to jump to another like station or something. Maybe later on you can have more stations. Was there an upgrade for uh, storage mine carts, additional mine carts, or something? Miner helmet, miner cart, miner saw. Hmm. Things that make you go hmm. You can see here, uh, they will not even attack these nodes here because this one's still parked in front of this one. So they have to even go further out and then, then these will get have to get caught up later on, which is kind of an interesting way to do it, but I guess it is what it is. You get, uh, you get what you get. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just different or unexpected. I'm interested to see what happens when we get some of these yellow ones in, finally. We're still at a capacity of 8, though, and this one looks like it only has maybe um, uh, 4 in it. So we may be a little, we'll be waiting a little while to, to see those. Ooh, I just, saw it, I just saw it tick again. Yeah, I got a fifth one in the, in the little storage there. You can see the pink one underneath the yellow one. That's awesome. So what was I waiting for? Five thousand for rails. Yeah, let's let's let them work and get to that point. Um, we got another yellow one going over here, and they're they're operating on a on a hemispherical um, point here, centered around these four uh, uh, shoots. Mostly hemispherical. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit distorted because there's four of them, but um, 
they're, they're operating under that because that's the way that we didn't have the control group with them focused on a specific column. Now, if I had done the column thing, then they then we could have focused them to get into the blue ones here, which are worth $10 per charge versus only $2 per charge. But we'd have to still have to cut through these, uh, these, these high dollar ones here. So not yet, but pretty soon, I think. Let's see, you've gotten an, another one. There's two more left for your cart. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna really make a dent in our money, uh, given that we need, um, or that we're gonna have ten of those. That'll be ten grand. So it's just gonna take a while to get there. And probably one of the other miners will go and start working on that while this one's still doing its delivery. That's kind of how they seem to work. Let's increase their speed one more time. I think. Spend a little bit more money, but uh, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. I'm tempted to do their capacity, but I don't think I will until after we get through these couple of yellow ones, maybe. Just because I want to let them cash those in uh, sooner, instead of having so spiky of a delivery. If I could get a little more saw damage, I may spend that, though. More speed, but I'm thinking more of the damage here. Were these also... Yeah, they were five times the cost and five times the hearts. So it'll be a little bit more uh, bursty by the time we get there. But I want to get to rails before we get there, because uh, that'll be... Uh, or minecarts, rather, because I think that'll be useful. Oh, they finally got done. All right. Let's check that out now. And yeah, it looks like somebody else, yep, somebody else is already going in there to take care of that one. So you can see now the little yellow... The yellow uh, stuff showed up. It looks like maybe that the, the newer colors or the, the later colors appear on top of the earlier colors in the minecarts even. I didn't notice that before, but it looks like what that's that's what's happening. Uh, but I, we should wait. Oh, we just got 5k. So we just sold all that and we made the money. Let's buy these rails. Uh, and that gets us minecarts, which is another category here. And the first thing we need to do is add to the rail length. And that puts down these little rails here. And so now, instead of the um, the miners delivering to the top of these chutes, they deliver to the rail cars, which will travel down the rails um, and allow the mine carts to, or the miners rather, to not have to go as far down toward the mine carts or the the delivery carts down here. They can just go to these these um, mine carts on these rails and deliver the items to those and then the minecarts will go back and forth making the delivery. I want to wait though I think until this is done which I don't know how many charges are left. I think we got either five or six. No, maybe we got six. So there might be four charges left in that. Once we get that then I definitely want to build this out but I want to let them kind of do this first. Uh, we could probably do uh, another rail length or two like that. And then you'll see that they won't have to go as far down in order to do their deliveries. They can do them right here. Uh, and we can actually even increase the minecart count on these. And what that does is that means that the minecarts won't have to travel as far even to do their deliveries. And we can also hold more on each minecart. And we should also upgrade their speed a couple of few times here. And maybe maybe to 12 meters per second. That way they can go back and forth a little bit faster. I wish when you clicked on these it told you how many charges were left in it, uh, but I don't know that there's any way to know. So you kind of just have to wait and see, but that's okay too. I'm okay with it. But this is kind of what I was waiting for to do that focus thing, because um, having these minecarts means that you know we can we can actually drill a tunnel straight through, rather than having the more circular... Uh, because we just, what we need to do is add to the minecarts all the time. Ah, you got a delivery to that, of, of those from here. Interesting. Or nice. Alright, so you should be down to maybe two more charges left here. And then you'll move up and get the pink ones.
And so for every two rail length, you can add one minecart count. And that's just because if you watch, uh, this adds just one there. Um, and you, the minecarts take up uh, each pair of minecarts, because that's how much, that's what the count is based on. Each pair of minecarts takes up two minecart lengths. So then when you add one more, then you add that a little bit of uh, kind of space. And the minecart counts, the minecarts cannot be more than half of the length of the rail. So, uh, yep, a mine rail. And that will kind of always be the case. I think this is the last chunk here, which would be really nice if it is. Then we can kind of really push forward. Yep, it is. Okay, good. Somebody else going to take care of that column real quick? Yep. And then they're all just kind of going to kind of work up here, and we'll just keep pushing the rails out there. Don't click these buttons too fast because it will cause some problems from what I saw before uh, where they aren't always the same length and then it gets kind of annoying to fix. You have to click on each one and make sure that it's um, that it's the same length and then it gets a little fiddly. So I click the buttons a little bit, a little bit of space in between them. But I'd like for you to get caught up a little bit before I do too much rail work. But they're they're tearing through these in no time now because we've increased their uh, their drill power so much. You saw, I don't know if you saw or not, these level themselves out uh, a little bit across these three. Look how stuff that stuff is stacking up now. It's awesome. You can also send the minecarts to the base. So if you if you want to flush it real f right now, you can do that. Uh, I I don't think that's a great idea because then they're all gone and then the miners are just sitting around like that. But you can do it. Oh, good. We tore through that yellow as well. So these are all catching up now. I'd like to see. I'm so advanced it far enough that this one is no longer the furthest out. Because now their their point their central point is right here instead of being uh, down here. Let's add um, a couple of additional grinders. I think yeah. Let's add two more grinders. One on either side like that. Although I'm not sure that that's the best solution either. Um, for balance, but maybe if I do that a couple more times, we'll get um, uh, we'll we'll get more. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now that I added enough of these, we can add additional carts to the whole system. Let's add from two to four. Right, that's why. Okay, that's what I wanted earlier, and I wasn't remembering things. So now these are working down here again because there are outside points here. But we want to do um, rail upgrades, and we want to uh, we want to increase just the short rails. And I think we have to actually click on each one. Maybe we can click on multiples. I don't think so. No. So I wonder if the max will take care of this. No. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Uh, can you sell those? You sell those. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> oops. Uh, oops. Oh well. I can't do anything about it now, I don't think. Can you delete now? Um, Alright. Well, never mind then. It is what it is. Now that one's working over there. Oopsie. That was bad. That was really bad. I don't think you can... 
unless there's something that I'm not seeing, I don't think you can undo that type of that type of oops. So let's do a control group then. Uh, that'll help with this. Uh, hey, you all. I managed to click up there. Uh, you all. Place the flag. Then I'm just going to say, hey, do like this much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I have twenty-one somehow. Uh, is it this one? Uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe. Maybe I'm centered now. Uh, let's go back to the rails then. Yeah, we don't want to do 39 rails, though. We want to just do these rails. Okay, I just have to select them. No big deal. Well, we got to the blues now, right? No, that's just their flag. Their control group flag. Come on in. What are you all doing down here? Mm -hmm. You ate. Let's increase your grinding speed. We have a little bit less of this going on. Not that there's anything I can do about it. Hmm. If I click the last one. That just helps me jump to the end. Yeah, I don't know. I might have screwed that up. It's okay if I did. I can't go very much further because the yellow one there. I think we can go this far. No, we're actually stuck on this one too. This one's this one's gotta wait now until that's done. Okay. At least we're getting into the blues now. I don't know how many charges are left on. We got two of them there. How many charges are left on those, but we'll get through them as soon as we can. We could potentially go to the miners and do some more saw damage. That would be good, because then they'll eat through. Oh, you just finished eating through there. Good. Let's uh, do a little more rail length here and another minecart count. Do some more saw speed. And so we don't need to do, in my opinion, as much of the driving speed because we're moving the rails closer and closer. Uh, I could be wrong on that one. Like That may not be a good opinion, but... Yeah, look at how fast that fills up now. That's insane. And they, they'll, it stops and picks up from the first spots. You can see the overflow is, is flowing like downhill over here. So it'll stop there and pick up, I think. Maybe not. I heard there's so much that you just didn't get a chance to. Uh, but we probably need to increase the speed of this uh, here. Do a few of those. Uh, we could do more carts, but it's not going to help much because, or it's not going to do what I really want to do. And eh, we could do another set of carts, especially because I've got them driving for so long. That's the problem. That's real. That's the real problem with doing this, is that now the cart has to drive all the way that whole length before the teleport would have been like right here. And a little bit more money on this. Some yellows that came through. I finished those up. All right, good. So let's go back to the rail upgrades here and do some length. I 
And let's also increase their speed a bit. There. Just so they can, when they get when they get done, they can deliver much faster. Oh yeah, the six carts made a difference there. That's good. And now that we're into blue fully, they're going to take twice as long to uh, to mine as the as they did before. Um, is that a good space? That's probably a good space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a bad gap, I don't think. So that's giving me 20, so really I could have 20 miners in this, not just 12. Maybe I should add more miners then? That wouldn't hurt, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we of course need to increase their speeds and their capacities and their saw speeds. Oops, I went one too far. And their saw damages. And so now we've got 20 miners, which is one per column, and they will just tear through this whole thing. At least, I think they will. Takes them so long. It's not really one per column because, not necessarily because of the the reload time or the, the drop-off time, but close enough. They'll go, eventually work their way out here to do this column more because it's closer to the uh, to the drop-off points than the central columns are. Are you having a problem getting through that? Is that a different kind? No, it's the same kind. Sometimes the colors look a little similar. Um, like, it's hard to tell if this is the same as that one, even though we know it's not. Uh, or even better, this yellow that's out here someplace. Is that the same? No, it's not the same, but because the value's different, but it looks the same. We could have tried to get them over here to get these two yellows, but is it worth it? I don't know. We can also do a few more uh, collectors here and do even more, uh, even more miners in like another collection group. Looks like that flag is moving every time we we remove maybe an end. It moves up a little, I think. I think it's moving. Let's move these out. There we go. Although we probably need to increase the saw speeds on these now too. And we're probably going to need to increase the, the drive speed of the minecart here, too, because now we are tearing through so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. What does... Why is that still there? Is there something else I can do with that, or does that mean it's done because that, uh, the white dot is there? Oh, this must be like there's multiple upgrades for these in this full game. Whereas there's only one in uh, of these in this game. We'll see in a moment, because we'll get up to um, 5,000 in no time. wonder if I should increase these like X4 grinders a little bit in their speed. Like do 12 of them like this. Okay, they're all up to speed now. So the storage point, what does that do? Oh, I know what that does. I remember what that does now. It, I forgot how, what it did, but I just remembered that I think I know what it does. Getting there is going to be a little bit of work, though, but we can try it in a little bit. Uh, let's see. You all, we can increase their length again. Add some more carts. Maybe increase the minecart speed. Yeah, that's grayed out. So there's one little light there. Maybe that means that we only get one of those. Not sure, but I think that's what it means. Move them a little bit faster. Switch back up to these guys. I think I'll do another saw damage, because that'll get us up to four which would be really useful when we get up to here and these have 10 hearts worth of health 
versus the five here. And we're going to get there pretty fast, too. Yeah, this is definitely moving up. Uh, moving away, because it was down here before when we placed it. I like the control group functionality. That way it kind of keeps them to a lane. They don't try and get out here because they ran out of distance-wise kind of thing. Because um, what'll happen is, let's say that, you know, these are far enough away and they want to hit the side one here. They'll actually come all the way down here and hit the end one again. And you don't really want that to happen. You want to keep them together so the control group really makes that useful. At least that's the way that it seemed to be when I played it a couple of months ago. It's good to see, by the way, that the uh, the game is getting, you know, updates and things. That's that's very nice to have. Because it slurped those up just like that. And you can see also that the train, the car is filling from end to end, too. So you don't have to worry about, like, it getting overwhelmed or anything like that. Uh, it'll grab the, the stuff that it needs. There you go. Yeah, I just saw it move. Is that a jump? I think that the, this is fast enough. These are probably just about fast enough. Yeah, these are probably all fast enough now. Um... I'm gonna watch this just to watch it overflow like that. Kind of flows downhill. They won't ever go more than three in either direction because it's four long. Uh, so you'll only ever get them to go three in either, either direction. Wow, that came and left just like that. It's impressive. I don't think we need grinder speed, because they seem to be grinding just fine. I think we just need to keep... Uh, we could probably increase maybe some of their stats here. Uh, we could go up another four. On the capacity. That gets them up to 12, then. I kind of like multiples of four, because they fit four physically, like in, their, in the icon. So I think that makes some sense there. Uh, we could do maybe some more speed. drive faster, and that spends all my money anyways, so that's fine. And then it's probably coming back to rail length of these four, and then at that point, uh, it's um, it's money at that point. I feel like I need more minecart speed. Probably not yet. The only reason I would really need it is if the minecarts are all moving at the same time and there's not one available for them to drive to to fill up. Yeah, I keep seeing that move for sure. But now we're into these pink ones, so we're now we're, we're earning uh, 20 coins per charge, but it's costing us 10 hearts. And health per charge. Okay. You. A little bit more. There we are. And then a couple of mine carts. Yeah, that's the 1,000 that we were picking up. And there's the 20,000 we see at some point here. This one? Yeah, the 20,000. And I like those just random, real expensive ones that are out there. That's really kind of a nice little bonus to have, uh, to have available to you, 
even though it's not really um, not something you're getting a whole lot of, but just that little bit is kind of nice. They always seem to kind of go to the ends because they're working on the side bits here. Yeah, I don't feel like any more than eight for for 20 of them. See how long this train is now and how much it's unloading at once. That's impressive too. Actually, I might want to upgrade these grinding speed a little bit more. Is that 12 right there? 11. 12 right there. You can see how much it f overflows because there's just so much stuff coming in. How tall those things are getting there, those piles. So much stuff. I love it. Lots and lots of stuff. And obviously it makes more sense to drill these because of the increased value rather than the staying down here to these, but eventually you might want to have more minecarts and it might be more efficient to have different banks of these that are being, um, that are mining at different points, because otherwise why is this so wide? Uh, so you, you may want to have, you know, multiple different points here that are just mining constantly and eventually and have them all in different control groups at whatever width you decide is comfortable for you. And then, uh, just going at it. But I think we should leave this here. Um, I can see how this game would not be that interesting on YouTube, but I think it's good to feature. And, um, you know, I, I hope this is something that, that some of you will, will like, even just to kind of sit and relax and play a little bit. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, if there's any other games that you think I should have featured that I didn't, let me know, and I can for sure, you know, squeeze them in, uh, as long as the demo is still available. Um, even after Next Fest ends. But uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to leave this Next Fest exploration here and uh, come back the next time there's one, which I think will be June. I think they're three times a year, uh, February, June, and October. And uh, we'll see what um, we'll see what comes up next in that. Uh, for the channel, though, we'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming uh, now with um, uh, Against the Storm every other day and then um, Factory Town Idol, uh, either at the, on the opposite days or on half of the opposite days, depending on if there's other things that uh, I want to work into the channel. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of M Moose Miners and of Steam Next Fest, and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>